Hey Hoodoo Loves, this is Miss Avi. This is my friend Zach and welcome to my channel, Hoodoo Delish. Now thank you so much to everybody who is returning to the channel and for everybody who is new, I'm so happy to meet you. Today we're gonna do a money and prosperity shaker jar. This is the second video in my series about shaker jars and how to do them. And they are a wonderful alternative for hoodoo work when you don't have the ability to burn a candle at home. Like if you travel or you have a nosy roommate or an animal that might light its tail on fire, those are, this is a really wonderful opportunity to do the work without a fire. But before I talk to you a little bit more about that, I wanna bring this in. This is Gumbo the Gator, and he is the mascot for Bonefest 2018. I am going to be teaching there in New Orleans this coming summer. I would absolutely love to see all of you guys there. I'm gonna be teaching two classes, one on candle reading and one on Hoodoo Smarter, which is gonna have lots of tips and tricks for you. There's a link down below in the description if you would like to take a look at that. I'd definitely love to meet you all. So, getting on to what we're gonna do here, this is the petition that I'm gonna have Zach use. And Zach, why don't you tell us just briefly kind of what you need in your life right now financially and why we need this? Well, I've been struggling a lot. My um, job cut my hours in half. Um, I've fallen behind on some of my other bills is, um, because of that, and I just need to get caught up. Okay. All right, and shaker jars are actually very good for a situation like that because they are specifically about getting things moving, making things happen quickly. So th these are also very good for speed as well as long-term results, and they can be worked for however long you need to work them. So what we're gonna do today to get started, let me just show you all this. This is the petition that we are using, and I had him write this himself. So what you're gonna do here is you're going to write your name and birthday three times like this, then you are gonna turn it one quarter turn to your right. And across it, you're gonna write your actual petition for whatever it is that you need financially. Now, in this case, we're just requesting specific to Zach's needs, but you can write in whatever it is that you need. If you need a raise at work, or you need money to pay a specific bill, or you need get out of debt, whatever it is that you need, you write that three times across like that, and then turn it one more time to the right, and you're gonna sign your name as a signature three times across that. And that's what we have on this paper. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and dress this paper with two different oils. Right here I have Prosperity Anchor from Swamp Water Conjure Botanica, and I also have Fast Cash Oil from Inexplicable Things, and I'm gonna put links to both of these in the description below if you want to use these, but if you don't have Conjure Oils at home, for prosperity work you can use essential oil, um, peppermint is very good for it, nutmeg essential oil, cinnamon essential oil, and you can of course use regular old olive oil very strong prosperity energy in olive oil, so it's really good for this. So what I'm gonna have you do, Zach, is I want you to go ahead and take first the prosperity anchor here and shake that up. And just shaking it kind of gets the energy moving and flowing a little bit here. Now I want you to take that lid off and just dab a little bit on your fingertip. Okay, now what I want you to do is go ahead and touch this paper and dress it in the corners and then in the middle. All right, awesome. Now this is called a fixing pattern. Any five point pattern in hoodoo is to hold something in place, to bring it down and manifest it and hold it. So this is prosperity anchor. It's very specifically supposed to bring that money in and let it stay in your pocket so you can use it for what you need it used for. Now let me have you do, with the fash cast, shake that up too, please. Okay, and just open that up and get a little bit on your fingertip. Same finger? Can be the same finger. Definitely. Now I want you to go ahead and put three dots with this one, just across like this. One, two, three. Over the same? Mm-hmm. Now three is the number of creation, and any time that you use three, you are creating, manifesting, and kind of growing, like you're planting, growing, and harvesting the thing that you want. And this is the fast cash oil, so we're growing and raising and manifesting that money that you need there. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to grab the top of this paper, fold it in half towards yourself. When folding a petition, if you fold down towards yourself, that's to bring something in. Folding up is to bring something away. Now I want you to rotate it to your right. Again, drawing right is clockwise, it's drawing something in. And reach up to the top and fold it again down towards yourself. Okay, let me have you do that one more time. Same thing. All right, and one more time. Just folding all of those edges and kind of folding it in and making it like a square there. Okay, perfect. 
Now what I'd like you to do, just to empower this petition and put into it the energy that we need, pray over it. And I just want you to kind of speak out loud to whatever deity you're comfortable with, requesting what you need. And just, you know, the, the same petition that we wrote here, abundant money to handle my wants and needs, to manifest my wants and needs. Spirits, please bring into my life enough money to support my wants and needs, manifest enough money to pay my bills and take care of my cat and my responsibilities. Amen. Amen. And as you kind of tap into your own intuition, you may find that the prayers change a little bit as we continue working. You may feel called to use a different word. And that's, that's always very important to remember is you listen to that intuition and what's going on in your own spirit and your own head because your spirits know way more about how to make this happen than either you or I does. So you just follow that internal voice. Now let me have you go ahead and set that to the side for a moment. And we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the actual jar here. Now we've got a couple of different ingredients that we're gonna add in. The main ingredient in this jar is rice. Now rice very strongly has the energy of prosperity, well-being, it's, it um, is associated with longevity, with health, with all of the things that are associated with wealth and prosperity. So it's a very good solid foundation. It also is very good for the actual shaking. It's got a very rhythmic and pleasant sound. And with money work, I find it's very important to have kind of that feeling of things being pleasant and beautiful. That helps to manifest the money more quickly. So let me have you go ahead and pour that into the jar here. All of it? Yes, please. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Perfect. And let me just have you pray over that, the same prayer, just that manifesting that which you need. Spirits, please manifest enough money to support my needs and my cat and to make sure my bills are paid. Amen. All right, so rice is the first one that we've got here. And the next one that we've got is just plain, ordinary white sugar. Sugar is very good for sweetening, but sugar in particular not just helps to make your environment around money sweeter and better, it moves fast. And it's not a particularly stable thing, which is why we have the rice in there to make sure the money's gonna last, but the sugar will help to bring that money in quickly. So let me have you go ahead and put that in the jar. Beautiful. And same prayer, pray it over that again, just empowering and activating that sugar. Spirits, please manifest enough money to make sure that my bills are paid and my responsibilities and my cat is taken care of. All right, oh man, perfect. Now let me go ahead and have you put the petition in there. We're gonna tuck it in at this point so we start putting things on top of it now. Perfect, right down in there. All right, the very next thing we've got here is ground nutmeg. Now nutmeg, very much about wealth, also about good luck, about connecting with people, about seeing opportunities, and about being able to seize hold of those good opportunities as they come to you. So let me go ahead and have you sprinkle a little bit of that in there. It doesn't matter how much. Just go until you feel like you've got the, the go ahead from your spirits to stop. And again, with the prayer, we're just empowering that and praying over it here. Spirits, manifest enough money to make sure that my bills are paid, my responsibilities are taken care of, and my cat is provided for. All right, perfect. All right, now here we have bay leaves. Now, bay leaves, one of the very most useful herbs you can possibly have, they correspond to the energy of wishes being granted and also can more or less stand in for any herb that you need them to stand in for. So I want you to go ahead and add two or three of those, just however, whatever feels right to you Whole. into the mix here. Yes. And you can break them up if you need to, but you're just fitting them in there. Mm -hmm. 
Bay is also very good for cleansing and removing obstacles, um, and you, you can burn bay leaves in your home. It's one of the very most simple spells is to write your desire on a bay leaf, write your petition there and burn that. But inside of jar work, they tend to specifically help ensure that your desires are what comes about. Okay, and praying over and activating that. Spirits, manifest enough money to make sure that my bills are paid, my responsibilities are taken care of, and my cat is provided for. Amen. Okay, now we just got one more ingredient into this, and this is some good old fashioned gold sparkle. Now, gold can be, that the sparkles and glitter can be used to protect, it can also be used to hide or deflect, but in this case, it also just strictly corresponds to the energy of having expendable income, having enough for what you need and for what you want, and, and having that happen in a pleasant way. So let me go ahead and, let me open it here, this one's a little complicated to open, here we go. And let me go ahead and have you add just a little bit of that into the jar. Alrighty. Perfect. And we're going to pray over and activate that one as well. Spirits, manifest enough money to make sure that my bills are paid, my needs are supported, and my cat is provided for. All right. Amen. Let me have you go ahead and put the lid on that for me and give it a few good shakes. Just kind of get that energy flowing in it and feel Recipe. that. And this you can work how, you know, whenever you want to. I would recommend for your situation that every day you spend five or 10 minutes just shaking it, focusing on the goal that you need, and then put it in a private place when you're done where it can just be safe and you can continue to work it. Um, once you feel like things are starting to get better, you can slow down a little bit with it because shaker jars do tend to move and shake things up. So they can create a little bit of an overwhelming feel at first and you don't necessarily want to keep shaking them past the point that you need the success but definitely go ahead and work it until you start to feel that flow come in and then just listen to your intuition about how much more to work it beyond that. So that is the video, everybody. I would absolutely love to hear your comments, thoughts, opinions, anything that you have made that's similar, any traditions that you have that go along with this, I would love to hear about it. If you wanna follow me on Facebook and see more of my work, I am there at facebook.com slash hoodoo delish. You can also find me at hoodoo delish.com on my own website. You can see more of my work there as well. And you can also message me about any questions you have, comments, ideas for tutorials, inquiries about my professional work, anything you wanna know, I'm there. So I would definitely love to talk to you guys. I love you so much and I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.